Welcome back to Idaho Voyager, everybody. Today we're doing a uh, campground review for the Pony Express RV Resort in Salt Lake City. The location is great. It's in North Salt Lake. It's just a couple miles from downtown. Uh, very easy access from the interstate. Really nice amenities. It's got a gated front entry. And so by all accounts, it certainly looks like a fantastic spot for, especially for an overnight when we're passing through. But unfortunately, this place has one pretty big flaw that is a deal breaker and probably uh, means we won't be staying here again. Campground review coming up next. Okay, so you can see gated community here. Um, as we come in, everything looks pretty nice. Um, as we go to our row here, so you can see very well manicured. Um, certainly uh, when we drove in, we were like, okay, this is pretty nice. They do have some uh, permanent um, bungalows or homes here, which is okay. But when you turn in down our row, you start to see what the issue is. They have got them packed in here like sardines. That's our spot right there. And that truck right there is our neighbor. So you can see how tight this spot is. Look at how close and jammed in together we are. I barely have room for my connections right there. And then this row is just stacked with RVs as tight as ours. And this row does not have an outlet here. So I have to get my truck backed up down that row because it's one way and then somehow i need to come up this row and find a way to turn around here to back up and get hitched up or back up all the way really not good uh this place is way way too crowded way too packed way too tight and this is an overnight stay for us and we were under the impression this pull through was going to be long enough to stay hitched up so we had to unhitch but the main thing is it's just way way too tight and not impressed at all so i'm going to start the tear down project right now and this is what i have to work with in terms of space yeah so as we're trying to get away we have to wait for uh, these folks to hitch up because it's so tight in here so just yet another example of how ridiculous this is so i just backed out of my spot here and this is going to give you an idea of how packed in and tight everything is so that's our spot right there and look at our neighbor like almost on top of us and that's the way it is all the way through I mean, look at this. This is crazy. I mean, it's just nuts. It's way, 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 way too tight. I mean, everybody's on top of each other. It's crazy. I mean, come on, guys. It's, it's just insane how packed in everybody is. I can't stress that enough. And these lanes, like the one next to me, it's not a, a through lane. So you can't even drive through. You have to make a U-turn. I mean, this is crazy. And you know, for us traveling to Zion, this is exactly halfway between Boise and Zion. And to break up the trip, we picked this spot because it was halfway and we have um, some family that lives in Salt Lake. So we had a chance to, to see them, but we're gonna have to look at a different option for us in the future because this is just too stressful. I mean, it is, it is crazy. I mean, look at that. I mean, it's a nice resort as far as 
the amenities, the Wi-Fi is great. Um, they gave you two cookies when you checked in and a little amenity package. So they're definitely doing a great job of treating you right. But the problem is they've got way too many spots by like twice as much. I mean, they could cut the spots in half and this place would be great. And obviously there's a revenue issue there, but when, I mean, basically when you're this packed, it basically just looks like a cash grab and the the guests best interests are not the top priority but anyway um hate to to be that negative but i mean look at that truck right there like it's nuts so that's the pony express rv quote unquote resort in salt lake city um just an honest review, guys. Just telling you to, like it is. Um, if you like the content, feel free to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss a beat. Thanks for joining us here on Idaho Voyager.